Go ahead, just just tell what you did in the war, where you went, what you did. Yeah, we started out and yeah. We went to Belay in Brazil, headed over that way. We left uh, the States and landed in Brazil. Then we went to Dakar and uh, Ascension Island and all the way across. We went into uh, Tespur, then on into uh, uh, right past over the Leader Road uh, in, in the Himalayas there. And, uh, but our main job, my main job was radio man on B-24s. And I, uh, I guess it was about 17 when I first got there. Uh, and I made the mistake of telling Colonel Chenault when we had that Jing Bao that, uh, well that uh, Jing Bao is a small air raid, you know. Anyway, uh, I jumped in this nice yellow trench with all the yellow mud. You've probably seen some of that over there. And uh, he said, what are you doing in here, Sergeant? He said, uh, uh, this is an officer's trench, you know. <laughs> that was kind of, kind of funny, I thought. Anyway, he said, well, how old are you today? And I, before I thought, well, uh, I told him, I thought I'm 17. He said, well, you're supposed to be older than that when you get here. I guess I'll send you back tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, uh, we never had any trouble over that. But my, uh, my crew was... Uh, Skipper Sweat uh, was the name of my pilot, and I've forgotten some of the other names, but uh, we were in B-24s and we flew out of Luliang, and we flew out of uh, uh, Sichuan, uh, but we covered most of the area. We'd go down on the coast and then we'd go back uh, we'd make a mission or two, and then we'd go into Burma to get a load of gas, and then we'd go back and get a load of bombs, and go back and get some supplies. It was just a kind of a routine thing, back and forth, about three trips, and then we'd get to go on a mission. Uh, it was quite, uh, well, I, my being away from home, uh, uh, for the first time very far away from home, why it was, it was kind of rough on me. But I en enjoyed working with all the fellas. Uh, we were landing into Sushuan there one time, and uh, we bounced off of a mountain. I don't know what happened, something, clouds and stuff. Anyway, he brought it on in that time, and uh, we both walked away from that, or all of us walked away from that. We were just coming in, and we bounced off of a mountain, and we was able to glide on in, and, and we landed, and they pulled the thing off the runway. And it was one of the few times that we didn't have to worry about packing our parachute. We just got up and walked off. We went up and down that leader road there. Of course, that's uh, close to Chen too there. We, we Landed up in what they call it, right up close to Chin too. Been so long, I can't remember all of these things. But as time went by, why well, we finally had to to come on back after. I think we had 230 missions or something, as I remember. And it skipper sweat. Yeah. And there's, there's a fellow by the name of Dollar Height. And there was another, and Steve, uh, and Roy O'Dell was the engineer. We spent quite a lot of time, all of us together there. Of course, I flew with three or four different airplanes because sometimes they didn't have a radio operator for one of the other planes, and I'd have to fly with the other crews. You know. By the time I got out of Denway, I had about all of the <laughs> combat flying I've wanted. <laughs> yeah, 373rd in the Luliang squadron there. And 
what is it, 308 bomb squadron. Most most the action was B-24, some B-26s, and so, uh, but I never flew. I flew once in a B-26, but it was, they needed a radio operator, and that's the only reason I flew in that one. Ten or twelve different places over there, and I can't call them all because it's so long ago. But I do know Sushuan and Lo Chao. We went into Lo Chao, uh, Kunming, Tesper. Yeah. Have you ever thought of going back to China? Yeah, a number of times. I I was fascinated with those women sitting on the runway. You know, they couldn't leave their job or somebody else would take it. And but the, the men they'd sit down on the end on the far end of the runway on the approach with their big hammers and they'd break those stones and then as they progressed up the wrong the runway then the women got into it and they, their stones was uh, maybe a golf ball size on down. And they'd sit there with their hammers and then they'd take their little tray, similar to those things, and throw the rocks out and make a runway. But there must have been 10 or 15 of those women on each runway, uh, on each side of the runway. And our biggest problem was to try to keep from hitting them with the prop blades because they weren't going to move. They, they didn't want to move. Because if you left just your job, somebody else got it. And it's, it's kind of tough eating over there at that time. But how they, I think sometimes they had more nerve and more <laughs> than we did flying them airplanes. But well, I know a lot of them got killed too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, we've there. had uh, we had one come uh, land ahead of us that his he was shot up pretty bad, and he landed and skidded off to one side, and he took two of those women with him. You know, it it was a dangerous job, but uh, a lot of the people here in the states wouldn't believe some of the things that we had to do, and and the Chinese. They had no place to go. The only money they had is what they could earn there on the base. Uh, so they were locked in. There was no no recourse. So if you had a job, you best do it and hope for the best. Now, when you flew missions, did you ever go out over the South China Sea? Yeah, we went down there two or three times, uh, maybe more than that. Uh, Uh, most of the time we didn't know too much about it. I, of course, I was in the radio uh, position and I took radio bearings and everything, but I could never see it. it was all mine was on the scope, so I never got to see much down there. Uh, but we did, we went once or twice that I know of, anyway, down in the sun. What, 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 when you went out over the ocean, was it just one plane? Was it a group of planes? I mean, were you on your own? Or were you with a group of planes? Well, there was a number of times we went out solo. But uh, most of our most of our flights were uh, formation flights. And there was 10 or 12 times that we went solo. We had a space formation, we have to go do something. Uh, but as a general rule, we were all in formation. <laughs>